I purchased the Apple Vision Pro and I was very impressed with the experience, but it was too large and heavy to be used during my daily commute and while traveling on an airplane. The MetaQuest 3 was recommended to me and I did look into that. However, that supports limited offline media content, so it's not a great choice for traveling on a plane or commute, but I may look into that in the future if they make some more improvements. So then I heard that I should try some of the XR, Extended Reality Glasses, and I first gave the Xreal Air 2 Pros a try. They were pretty good, but I wasn't as impressed with the visuals on those or the features that they had, despite some of the software that it did provide on my Mac. Again, that's a product that I may go back to uh, later on and try out, but there was something else that I was recommended to try, and I've now been using that for three weeks. It offers an ex excellent extended display experience with a 120 inch HD display for my many needs. For the past month or so, I've been using the Vitur One XR glasses. Now these glasses can be used for media viewing, gaming, including cloud and remote play, and for getting work done. I've primarily been using them for media playing and for getting work done. So if you look, I, these look similar to something like a Ray-Ban sunglasses when you're wearing them. The screen and the nose piece does protrude it a little bit further out from your face than you might be used to. However, uh, they are you know, pretty subtle and lightweight and things like that. Now, let's run through a few things. So uh, these glasses, have a magnetic attachment cable here that goes to USB-C at the end and they are no battery inside they're powered by the source platform and that source platform can include iOS, Android, Mac, Windows, the Nintendo Switch, uh, and even HDMI uh, like an Amazon Fire Stick for example. Uh, I just want to relay some of my experiences with some of these different platforms that I've been using. Starting out with iOS, I've mainly been using it with an iPhone 15 Pro Max. Uh, one thing to note, there is audio that comes out of the um, head, uh, the glasses themselves over your ear, and people around you can't really hear it that well. But you have to make sure if you're going to use it on uh, an iOS and you want to use something like an AirPods Pro, which I did use on the airplane, then you have to make sure to tap on AirPlay and then select your external headphones that you want to play rather than, than through the glasses. Uh, with iOS, there's also currently a thing called the Spacewalker app that's for iOS. It's in beta for Mac OS and coming, I understand, to Android and uh, I think Windows as well. This is an interesting piece of software that offers you three different displays. And if you turn your head with the right accessory, I'll talk about in a minute here, you will see three different screens. Um, I haven't found a lot of use for Spacewalker yet. Um, I'm primarily using these to extend the media experience of the desktop. Uh, the Spacewalker shows promise and it will get better, but right now I'm not finding it to be uh, an essential application for me. Something to keep in mind is there's two different USB-C adapters that are available. Uh, I actually bought the USB-C uh, adapter that would help charge the phone while I used it. However, that does not provide the Spacewalker functionality, so you need to buy the USB-C XR adapter which is a little bit different price I'll mention here later, that one is needed to be able to use uh, the Spacewalker application. So I did end up returning the uh, original USB-C cable for the other one on Amazon, so that was all good. Now, in Android, it's a flawless experience with USB-C. Uh, currently doesn't support uh, the Spacewalker app yet, but it has been very good for USB-C usage. It even supports, I have a Samsung S24 Ultra, it even supports using Samsung DeX. So using Samsung DeX gives you even more functionality, especially if you have connected with a Bluetooth mouse, for example, and a Bluetooth keyboard, and then using this headset, you can get a full desktop type experience with DeX. Similar to using AirPlay on an iPhone, you need to select the external audio to be something different if you wanna use a headset. You can actually, in Android, in the settings there, there are abilities to select certain apps that you designate for use with external headset, and that makes it very easy to switch uh, your headphones up for other things. 
Uh, on a Mac, it does mirror the display. So you plug in the USB-C into a Mac computer and you have a duplication of the display on the headset as you do on, um, on the Mac itself. I understand that Spacewalker will allow you to have more functionality, more displays eventually for that. On Windows, actually, uh, by default, when you plug it in, it extends the display. So you have the Windows display. And if I look up a little bit, I can see everything underneath the what I see on the display right now. If I look up, I can see that. So on Windows, when I'm traveling with a Surface Pro that I have, I can see the Surface Pro screen and it extends onto the screen on the glasses. So that is native by default with no uh, Spacewalker app or anything else. It just kind of happens. Another thing that I really love, and one reason I bought these headsets, is its support for the Nintendo Switch. With the Nintendo Switch, you will need the Vitour mobile dock accessory that's $129. The input of the Switch, the input of the Switch plugs into here, and then the output to headsets, there's actually two of them, so two people can play on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, there's also on the mobile dock an HDMI port. I did not connect that, but you can connect that with Amazon Fire Stick and other things like that. So there's an HDMI port. You can use that to plug in an Amazon Fire Stick or other source and then use that with a headset if you are in an area where you have that connectivity and you want to use some external HDMI source for watching and using these headsets. Now one thing I will also mention is on the content of the media that comes through there. I tested uh, all kinds of different services. Apple TV, Amazon Prime Video, Hulu, HBO Max, Netflix, all of those work flawlessly while streaming online and while offline. I was really doing a test of offline to see what I could use on an airplane or when I don't have a signal. The only problems that I ran into, for example, on iOS uh, was Disney, Movies Anywhere, and Google TV did not work. When I used those, I would get an error, even with a proper adapter that said an external source is being used here and they wouldn't allow me. Now that's not really the tour's fault. That's a proprietary media streaming thing with those different folks. Uh, those three, Disney, Movies Anywhere, and Google TV, did work on Android with uh, the XR adapter. So there's something different between iOS and Android. So keep that in mind as you're trying to find your different source of content to be able to play. The great thing about these, they're very lightweight. I've wore them for an international flight, 15 hours. They're extremely comfortable. They're weighing in at only 78 grams, which is a big deal for me. And they pack up in a very nice, a very nice carrying case that includes a spot to put the glasses safely and then also a place to store the cable as well. Um, there's a few things that stand out and are huge differentiators with the uh, Vitour One XR glasses compared to some other ones. On top of the glasses, there are these myopia adjustment dials for each eye. You simply close one eye and then rotate the dial until you can see clear content. Now, the nice thing about this is I wear contacts normally or glasses. Um, when I was traveling on that international flight, for example, I did have my contacts in, but after many, many hours, I decided to take them out. I was able to use the Vitour One XR glasses with no glasses or contacts just by using those myopia adjustment dials. And that is a game changer for those who wear glasses and have a prescription that actually supports this. There's also a button on the side for the electromic uh, film. And if I push this one single button here, it will go between a see-through area where I can see through the glasses and then it will darken them. Um, you can use those as well in order to have a very better viewing experience. And then you can also buy the $9 shades that fit over the glasses to completely block out light. Uh, Har There's a Harman partnership for the audio. It's very good audio through the headset and people around me said they could hardly hear when I was uh, watching a movie, for example. Now on an airplane, I did use uh, noise canceling headphones, external audio source rather than the, the uh, default glasses content uh, or glasses source for that. Um, and that's a better enjoyable experience. Also, one thing that's kind of unique with this headset is if you have an iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max that can capture spatial video, you can actually view the spatial video on the glasses themselves. And uh, that's kind of neat to be able to 
capture that with your iPhone and then view it on the glasses. Now I did talk about the Spacewalker app a little bit. One thing that's interesting, so you, you connect the right adapter, XR adapter that you connect to your iPhone, and then your iPhone serves as a laser pointer to navigate and select in the Spacewalker app the different screens. There's a web browser, there's a document viewer, there's an image viewer. That's the way you're gonna view the spatial video that I talked about. And as you turn your head, when you're in the Spacewalker app, you can see three different displays inside there as well. Um, but there's a lot more to come with, with that functionality. I know they're developing Spacewalker for further development for iOS and for other platforms. Currently, the Vitour One XR glasses are priced at $400 that cut on Amazon. There is a 10% coupon that I was using for it. I think it was $439 and then with the 10% coupon, it's about $400 for the headset. Uh, they come in jet black or indigo blue. I was testing and purchased the jet black pair. Uh, the USB-C adapter, the incorrect one that I bought at first was $39. That one just simply, if you're an Android user, you could use that one. That will simply uh, allow you to charge your phone at the same time as you're using the headset so you're not uh, consuming the battery from your phone or whatever your source is. However, I really recommend you think about getting the $69 USB XR adapter that provides the Spacewalker support and more functionality. There's also the mobile dock for $129. If you're going to use this with an HDMI source or you're going to use it to play with a Nintendo Switch, this is a must-have. Uh, it also provides a 13,000 milliampere external battery pack to keep your devices charged up. And then there's that $9 shade that covers up the glasses and, and adds some darkness to it. Now, Vitour also has a $179 accessory called the Vitour Neckband. Uh, I understand that is a neckband that fits around. It has an internal battery in the neckband. It runs on Android OS. I have not tested at all the neckband, so I can't comment on that functionality. So I'll speak a little bit more about the mobile dock, uh, one of my favorite accessories with that. So the mobile dock, as I mentioned, is a 13,000 milliampere battery. On the front, it does have an HDMI uh, input port. It has three USB-C ports. One of them is in the center. That is the one that you put in the source, uh, whether it's a Nintendo Switch, your iPhone, your Android, whatever source content is coming from, that goes in the one that has a red and blue circle around or oval around the opening. Plug in your source there, and then the, there's, there are two glasses output um, USB-C connectors where you connect one or two pairs of glasses to that. And the center USB-C is also where you charge up the 13,000 milliampere. So it is wonderful with the Nintendo Switch where you plug in the Nintendo Switch via the included short cable, USB-C cable, and then you plug in the Vitour One headset. And the display on the Nintendo Switch itself will go dark and you won't see anything on that. And then you simply grab your Nintendo Switch accessory, slide in your game controllers, and you use that to play games directly on the headset that's on your face. Now, I played this for two or three hours on an international flight, and it was probably one of the best Nintendo Switch experiences. I, I probably will use this solution rather than playing the Nintendo Switch by itself because that headset's providing that big display experience. It's charging up the Nintendo Switch, and uh, you can actually attach somebody else's to that and enjoy that whole experience. So after completing the first 15 hour leg of my Australian adventure with the Vitour One XR glasses, along with several train commutes to and from the office, uh, I'm convinced these are the best XR glasses available. I look forward to continued development of the Spacewalker app for Mac OS and Android. Uh, but if you want a big screen experience for travel, work on the go, or commuting, then I highly recommend the Vitour One XR platform. That price at $400, what's much easier to justify than the $3,500 up to $4,000 plus for the Apple Vision Pro. I still like the Apple Vision Pro, but it's not quite for me where the Vitour One XR glasses are exactly what I'm looking for. Thanks everybody for watching. Keep in mind, I do now have memberships available if you're interested. And I also have a, a support button available on YouTube. So if you like this channel, you wanna see more content, you'd like me to purchase more devices for review, please just let me know, share it to your family and friends, and thanks all for your support. May the mobile force be with you.